ribbon from Mom's Bible. Whenever I'm nervous, I hold it and it calms me down. Cedric, what are you doing here? Baby, can I, can I talk to you, please? There's nothing to talk about. You need to go back to your dorm. Cedric, this isn't the place or the time to be. Look, I know that I've, I've said and done some dumb things. But maybe God brought us to this point for some reason. Maybe you all wound up here because you were being irresponsible. All I'm saying is, how can I fight for damn you and not fight for the life of my own child? What are you talking about? Your mom already told me that you don't want this baby. Ma, how the hell could you say that? You said you didn't want to be a baby daddy. And you are right. You're right. Neither of you are in a position to raise a child. Mom, Mom that's not your damn decision to make. First of all, I don't know who the hell you think you're talking to, but you have about five minutes to get your mind right. I worked like a dog by myself to raise you and give you this life. I'll be damned if I don't have a say about you just throwing it all away. Look, I know that this situation isn't perfect for either one of us. But I am not trying to do something that we both will regret for the rest of our lives. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You are the one carrying this baby. So it's your decision to make. But don't do it because you think that I won't be there. I'm scared, Cedric. Hey, look at me, B. Look at me, look at me. Uh, my dad died when I was four. I don't remember much. The things I do remember, they were good. I swear to you, on everything, I will be there for our child. No matter what happens between us, Sir? I will love my kid. You need to come with us. Are you all right? No. No, I'm not. She's OK, not stop. Fine. Let's do this, Miss Platt. Why don't we go into my office alone so we can talk about all your options? Okay, thank you. Okay. 